Okay, it's almost summertime, which means pretty soon we're going to be out and out about in sundresses, tank tops, tees. So we thought, you know what? Now is the good time to find a perfect bra. All of our bras mm -hmm. are falling apart and yucky. True. Sometimes it's easier uh, uh, said than done. So we brought in an expert to help with all of our bra dilemmas, undergarment educator, Kim May Caldwell. Kim May. Okay, first of all, how do you become an undergarment educator? Many, many years of practice. I've been doing this 17 years from A cup to N cup. Okay. And that's sometimes why your clothes don't look good. You just don't have the right bra. Exactly. Yes, it makes a big Her difference. Her bra is falling off. Should yeah, she get so a new I one? put a ring in the back just to squeeze it so it doesn't droop. That's like a band aid for a larger for problem. We're going to talk about it. All later. right, let's start talking about this. We've got Ebony out here now. She's wearing a bra that I kind of want. Yeah, that's comfortable. Looks great. It's like kind of a sports bra, but so, tell us about it. Believe it or not, this is not a sports bra. This is what? a great loungy, wire free bra. Yes. This is from Harper Wild. This is for the person who maybe has not been wearing a bra, has been really casual for the yeah. past two years, and they just want something that's really comfortable and seamless. What? What's good? over it like dresses or more t-shirts I mean you could wear anything over this as long as right. the neckline works and yeah. it's really great for lounging or as an everyday bra and that little band on that proprietary band kind of keeps things lifted without the underwear and I like that it has the right color because yeah. sometimes you get bra it's yes. not your color they have great skin you tones beautiful. Ooh, thank you great. gorgeous by the way let's bring out Dawn the go girl bra. I love a t-shirt bra <laughs> hey girl you look good okay so You're Dawn welcome. is our example for a great t-shirt bra everybody who's like just going back to wearing bras yeah. again you've got to get a t-shirt bra that's a staple. What's a t-shirt bra? A t-shirt yeah. bra is just a nice smooth bra. Usually in the U.S. it means it's right. underwear and has some coverage. Yes. So this one is from Walkhole. This is their basic beauty that style. Good. Don, okay. turn around so we can see the back real quick. The straps in this go in yeah. slightly. So if your straps fall, Hoda, this could be a good Wait, one for you. I have a question. Don, how do you snap your bra? In the back <laughs> or, in, or the in the front and, and twist it? Let's hear. That's what you do. That's what I do. Okay, listen. Not everybody can do that. So if you have to twirl it and twist it, if you have to twirl it, it's fine. I just want to make sure people know that is an option, but it's best for your bra if you can hook it in the back. Okay, that sounds great. And I also you just solved the debate. Let's bring out Karen. Come on, Karen. Okay, beautiful. You look good. That's oh, I like a lace. Karen looks good, and Karen came to me wearing a 38 double D. This is a 38 H in UK sizing, which is a 38 K in US sizing, y'all. She was in the wrong size. This is from Alomi. This is a UK bra. They make amazing supportive I bras. Love it. Love it. And do, you, do your clothes look better over yeah. that than the other bra? Oh my yeah. Show us the back. So the back also has this wow. beautiful J hook so she can wear racer back tops yes. and get the support like that, that she's that looking looks for. Gorgeous. That looks really good. Okay. And just a really quick tip too, yeah. if you are wearing a sheer or bra like this and you're worried about coverage, nipple covers like this one I have here from Threads, oh, she's wearing these. them now. You yeah. don't even have to worry. So oh. don't worry these about the coverage. Cutlet. They're so yeah, great. Peel they're them just off. sticky, reusable yeah, covers. sticky, reusable, and you can, yeah, you'll use them again. Yeah, that's great. I have a ton of these. They're great. Thank you. Okay, right, just strapless you. bra can be elusive. Okay, everyone writes to me. They're like, they can and never Angela, wear a strapless bra. Angela, you look beautiful. Angela, how do you feel in this bra, first of all? Is it supportive? You look really good in it. This yeah. is from Paramore by Felina. And turn around again. We want to take a look at the back. This has See, these stays and power mesh to stay up. But the most yes. important thing about any good fit is to actually wear the size and style that fits your body. You will always feel more comfortable and confident. We aren't wearing the right we size. We aren't wearing the right <laughs> That looks, were you wearing the right size before? <laughs> By the way, can I just say for one quick second, <laughs> our you. gorgeous models, Yes. not everybody steps out wearing a bra. Not only do you look beautiful, you're confident yes. and you're super cool. Incredible. So we want to say thank you. all look so beautiful. Okay, Kim May, what for everybody at home, what measurements do you need to figure out what bra size you are? Okay, there is some bra math involved here. So Bra math? Yes, okay. a little okay. bit of bra math. We're okay. not going to go over today. It's a little too long for to do right here. But you basically need the under bust, which is right here, all right, underneath the bust. People go too low. You need it right underneath the bust, okay. the bust under. Okay. And then you want to go over the bust, the fullest part, wear right. a basic bra, nothing right. if it's a minimizer or a push-up. And then you do a little bit of subtraction from the bust measurement. You subtract the band measurement, and then every cup is a letter in the USA. So you do it for us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some it. resources I'm on like, this. That reminds me of third grade, like, right word now. problems. I'm like, Don't no. worry, it's easier than you think. I have resources on this, and there's some on today.com. Hey, what is your favorite minimizer bra? Oh. I do like the Walkhole Minimizer. It's Which one? Walkhole makes really great Walkhole, minimizers. Walkhole. That was that t-shirt bra we this saw one? earlier. Uh, not that one, oh. but the t-shirt we saw earlier. That one, that one makes one? a really great minimizer. The, okay. the t-shirt bra, the blue one. Yeah. Now, oh, so blue, full one, coverage one, is the a minimizer. just kind of holds everything in. Which yeah. Is nice. yeah. Okay, another, like another thing that we've kind of debated, how often do you wash your bra? Okay, if it's a sweaty day or it's a sports bra, 
after every, every use. Day. And if it is um, a, a basic bra, maybe every four wears. Just never fold those cups four. into each other, though. Hold Why? Oh what? my gosh. Wait, this is doing? a spacer Don't molding, so it's them? more flexible. But everybody what? at home, if you have a contour bra, never fold one cup into the other. Wait, so what do you do? Why? Stack down? them. Stack them one but behind the other. Where do you have room in your drawer? Well, you have to make you them for, make like a priority. This? No! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blasphemy. 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 Why? No, what does it do? You'll you'll actually dent that cup. And this one's a little more flexible. You'll dent that cup that was bent in, and then you'll walk around with one dent over here and not a dent over here. We have padded bras. We don't. But that's not padded. That's <laughs> well, this one's a little more flexible, flexible. So flexible. it's okay. Right. Thank it's you, okay. Kimmy. Y'all are amazing. Oh, amazing. Everyone look great. beautiful. One, Come on out to check out all these different bras and to get Kimmy's measurements. Head to data.com slash shop. Come